We can't say for certain which haplogroup Abraham represents in the modern population of people. The majority of the academic community is leaning towards the probability of IJ especially due to the research into the Cohen CMH factors. There are some who support haplogroup DE as the original Semites and are able to make their case citing Natufians and Hebrew having a Afro-Asiatic root. LT appears to be indigenous to the Fertile Crescent and from where T and L spread farming, herding, and metallurgy. T went west beyond Turkey but also reached the Silk Road. It's believed that L went east beyond Sri Lanka but what about the Druze with LM20? While the LT siblings groups share a Mesopotamian origin at their root together, they are less than 5% in the modern populations who identify as Palestinian or Jewish with either LT haplotypes. The book traced that Abraham was haplogroup LT and has T as the original Israelite lineage. Why is T only 3% amongst Ashkenazim today while it was found at Erfurt and Norwich Chapel Field bodies in the Well Anti-Semite Massacre? Was this a rare event, or has T been hunted to nearly being an endangered UNESCO World Heritage? 1. The Babylonian Exile C586 BCE Following the destruction of the First Temple in Jerusalem, the Babylonian Empire exiled a significant portion of the Judean population to Babylon. While traumatic, this event involved uprooting and displacement rather than attempted eradication. 2. Ancient Egypt, see the 13th century BCE. The biblical account of Pharaoh ordering the killing of Hebrew infant boys as part of the Exodus narrative. Three, the massacre of the innocents. C, first century BCE, CE. According to the New Testament, King Herod the Great ordered the execution of all male children in Bethlehem in an attempt to kill the infant Jesus. Four, Muslim conquests. 78th centuries CE. Throughout history, there have been instances of conflict between Muslim rulers and Jewish communities, often resulting in conversions, persecution, or massacres. However, these were not systematic attempts to eradicate all Jews. 5. Canaanites and Joshua. C. 13th century BCE. The biblical narrative of Israelite conquest of Canaan under Joshua's leadership, which includes stories of battles, the destruction of cities, and territorial conquest. The historicity of these events is subject to scholarly debate and interpretation. 6. The Alhambra Decree, 1492. This decree led to the expulsion, forced conversion, and in some cases execution of Jews in Spain. 7. The Lincoln Massacre of Jews. See by 1255. The tragic massacre of Jews in Lincoln, England in 1255 represents a dark chapter of persecution and violence against the Jewish community in medieval Europe. 8. The Holocaust. 1930s-1945. The systematic genocide of 6 million Jews by Nazi Germany during World War II represents one of the clearest and most horrific attempts at the eradication of a people. 9. Well Chapelfield 696 and the Ashkenazi Jewish Cultural Group. 12th, 13th centuries. The discovery of the remains associated with the Well Chapelfield 696, a man with Y DNA haplogroup, TY125276, and the potential connection to the Ashkenazi Jewish Cultural Group, as well as the historical context of the 1190 anti Semitic massacre in Norwich, adds to our understanding of the complexities of Jewish history and genetics. 10. The Expulsion from England. 1290. King Edward I issued an edict expelling all Jews from England, leading to forced migration and the seizure of Jewish property. 11. Pogroms and Russian Empire. Late 19th, early 20th centuries. Systematic and widespread attacks against Jewish communities in the Russian Empire, leading to violence, destruction, and loss of life. These historical events spanning from ancient times to the modern era reflect a broad spectrum of experiences and challenges throughout history. From ancient conflicts and forced migrations 
to more recent episodes of persecution, violence, and attempted eradication. 70 AD, the fall of Jerusalem, and the Roman captivity, the early Christians like Essenes, Abionites, and household grassroots worshipers who are lost to history. T has a 1% worldwide frequency, so finding it at even 3% is still considered an enrichment. In closing, T killed T. Canaanites became Semites, who in turn became Jews. Some become Christians, who later became Muslims. Paul killed many Christians and then became one, as well as Constantine II. Christians killed Jews to gain control over the Holy Land. Glory to God, T hasn't been lost. Please like, subscribe, and share Lost Tribe DNA.